Hello, good morning, guys. Uh, we are Team One. We are the company which we are investigation investigating on is uh, Worthy Fabrics. We are four members uh, in our team, and we are one of the smallest team in our class in our group. And I would I'm here to introduce the team. So this is Atik Vora. He is the chairperson. I'm Shivan Thampi. I am his secretary. This is Vidya Patel. She is assistant and. He is Himanshu and he is also assistant. So I would uh, hand over the presentation to Vidya. She will take us through the introduction of Worthy Enterprise and the research. Hello guys, I'm Vidya Patel. I'm part of uh, team one. As, as Sibin said, I will uh, talk about introduction. Uh, I will take you through the uh, uh, Worthy Fabrics. Worthy Fabrics uh, established in 1970 by Mr. T.K. Patel in uh, Fiji and then in 1980 it uh, moved to Auckland in Avondale where the fabrics caught their business uh, in importing and uh, distributing the fabrics they uh, the importing and distributing uh, the fabrics nationally internationally and local market also in our research we come to know uh, about that where the fabric faces many problems such as mislabeling uh, lack of space, uh, lack of staff, and misdelivery. And uh, in our research, we focus on uh, misdelivery problem. And now I hand, uh, hand over presentation to my teammate Himanshu. Uh, the next part is scope and aims. Me and my team's main scope and aim is to the, make some recommendation to the worthy enterprise to give some solution of problems which are facing by the worthy enterprise nowadays. And uh, we, me and my team research on the worthy enterprise and finding some problems and make some solution for it and uh, we also explore some solution and um, make some possible changes which company can make do easily for the delivery. Our main scope and aim is the, to totally reduce the misdelivery. Uh, the next part is the limitation. The limitation of our group is when me and my group uh, visit first time worthy enterprise we could not meet the manager because he some outside of the company for some personal work. The major issue of my group is the time management. Also, we cannot. Uh, we also be facing the issue of role playing and uh, difficulty to distribute the work because only four members in our group and uh, limited time to contact with staff. I work at the worthy enterprise, so I interact with the staff regularly. But my team member cannot uh, meet the staff regularly because of the, some time limitation. The next part is the investigation is illustrated by the Hatikora. Hi everyone, good morning. Uh, I will talk about the investigation. After all, this is all about the research project. And uh, in investigation, we uh, divided it two part. Uh, qualitative and quantitative. In quantitative, we did sample survey. In sample survey, we uh, uh, go to the customer to with our survey to ask them about the feedback about the misdelivery that happening in the Worthy Fabrics Limited. Some customers are overseas, so we have to call them and uh, ask them through the phone. So after that, we uh, we also have an opportunity to in-depth in -depth interview with manager. We actually appointment uh, in three days. We lots of data from uh, from them. Uh, we also uh, they also, uh, he also gave permission us uh, permission to go through data, secondary data, records and inventory where we find the where the misdelivery happened. And uh, we also did general observation. We go uh, we we go few times uh, at warehouse and observe the process how they manage the labeling. Uh, uh, distributing and uh, delivery. After that, we follow the method, Fishbone diagram, which is known as the Isikawa method. Uh, in that, uh, the main issue of our is a um, wrong delivery. Uh, we uh, in this method, we uh, we find out the core source of the problem, where it's come from. We divide in four part: measurement, environment, staff, people, and process. In that, we uh, we uh, in measurement, there was uh, we found out there was a lack of training of people and. Uh, uh, tracking and scheduling uh, in staff and people there is limited staff only one person at one job and there is untrained delivery person lots of problem are like this found uh, that's lead to miss delivery uh, such as untrained staff mostly manual process mix storage of consignment like internationally locally they all product are save, uh, saved at uh, one storage 
and uh, there is a uh, no tracking of order they don't use gps or something uh, to track their order to update their customer about where their consignment is going and there is uh, no technological use in a uh, warehouse like uh, barcode barcoding and uh, in uh, computer recording etc next will be the uh, solution and recommendation which is explained by sipin thank you Hi people, I'll uh, explain you about solutions and a recommendation. The first recommendation which we gave to all the enterprises who offer the fabrics was training their workers. As he, uh, Atik already mentioned that there is only one person at one job. So we are, we are trying, uh, since he is the only person, so he would know how exactly the job works. So we, uh, he can exp um, expedite on the process and work more efficiently. and. Uh, this one is a recommended long-term solution which we have given that they can increase the warehouse space. We cannot uh, do it in a short term. They need uh, actual finances, funding and planning to process this uh, um, recommendation that is increasing the warehouse space. The third and the most important part is the allocation of the consignment to by the area of destination. So uh, what we have suggested recommended them and they have uh, run a trial run as well uh, on this uh, recommendation and they uh, really appreciate our work. What what we suggested was uh, in the warehouse please alloc allocate the consignment to a particular area of delivery. So uh, for example if it is supposed to be delivered in Auckland city it should be um, like allocated to one part of the uh, warehouse if it is um, uh, distributed or delivered to one other part of uh, like Hamilton it should be allocated to a different part of the warehouse. And we have also encouraged the management so that they could use more uh, technology which uh, nowadays is easily accessible and uh, more computerized recording and barcode labeling so that they can right away update the information what all products are coming in into the warehouse and what all products are going out of the warehouse. And um, the most important part, the web website of this uh, worthy fabrics, it's not much infomercial, so we ask them to um, get more contents on it and work on their website so that people and customer and even their clients would know what exactly is uh, their working procedure and their core business. And um, we have also recommended them to up, um, like be accurate with the tracking systems, add GPS to, your, to their delivery van, update the information online once the product is delivered, once the product is received uh, in the warehouse. The next part is the conclusion and for that, um, the uh, the, in the conclusion I just uh, would like to say as I already informed you about uh, the recommendation uh, for the conclusion, um, they run her trial run uh, for our recommendation and they realized that we are helping them out. They, they were able to understand that they, they are uh, uh, like uh, by this uh, recommendation run of allocation of their products to one particular area, they are able to save time, confusion and misdelivery as well. They are able to work on that. and. Uh, um, we, uh, we are trying to remove and minimize the problem. We cannot remove it, but we are trying our best to minimize the problem. We have proposed it to them as well. They have uh, wholeheartedly accepted it, and moreover, we are not charging them, so they are happy with that as well. Uh, <laughs> and uh, they are trying to apply the solution, and we are uh, also going to give them the final report. They are looking forward to hear from us as well. So that's all from our end. Thank you so much. As a chairman, I manage the team to uh, like uh, distribute work. Uh, firstly, uh, the person here, Himansu, he is working at warehouse. So that was the great benefit for us. Uh, that's how we come to know about the manager's uh, manager's appointment and uh, the sequence of uh, timing of workers. And the great management. Uh, 
you're, you're in a position to work in the company. You've, you've got this big job list to, to, to do this now. You're, you're perhaps in a good position to implement some yep. of these recommendations. What are the first two recommendations that you would implement if you were asked by your boss, okay, where do we start? Oh, I'll answer that. So, uh, for that, if I'm working in that company, the first uh, two recommendations, the first one is already uh, like they have run a trial run of allocation of their consignment to a particular part of the warehouse. They have already done that. So, that would be my first and foremost thing. And next would be uh, like updating the information online, adding a G GPS and other technological things wherein customer can locate and track where their product is, even company management can track where exactly is the delivery van is, so that they can avoid confusion and they can direct the delivery person to a particular area if in case he's lost. Right, very good. Questions from, uh, from the floor, any other questions from this team? What, what's been one of the key benefits that you've gained from uh, working on this project? Yeah. For me? Can you repeat? Uh, it, uh, the benefit was that uh, it's a uh, teamwork and uh, I, I'm, uh, I have uh, never been uh, in team before. It's a good experience for me to work in team and uh, I gained the knowledge how to divide work and how to co collaborate easily with my team members. Good answer. Good answer. Okay. All right, thank you very much. Give some hands. Wow. Uh, one thing. one point. Um, good thing. Good thing. Yeah. Yeah. The voices were very clear of the team members with their Himanshu and Shibin. So voice was very good for the team members. Startup was good. Uh, Vidya and Shibin, you were very good with the startup. That's it. Uh, Himanshu holds very well in the middle structure of the presentation. Actually, I do like uh, how the team managed the whole research project. Uh, you have clearly uh, stated your uh, research aims, and uh, with the aim that actually you have a pretty well good start. So you you can actually with even though you have all the limitations, but still you can manage it and uh, make it through uh, the whole process of the research project. So it's uh, very good that you have the clear aim in advance. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, I particularly like the very specific and practical uh, recommendations that you that you made, uh, and you clearly, through your questioning, you clearly had a good sense of the priorities. You made a distinction between long-term and short-term actions uh, that should be uh, implemented. Okay, areas. For uh, improvement, I'll just get rid of my simple one, um, just while you were waiting around. You're standing really well now, but before some of you had your hands in your pockets whilst you were waiting for us. <laughs> You're standing well now. Okay, areas for improvement? Areas of improvement, means I like to tell Vidya, Vidya, you are very confident, means you are very confident, but don't become conscious while saying, because means continue gaining that confidence. Don't in between that conscious because you're doing really well, but in between you got a little bit conscious, so don't that's the area of influence of other aspect. Okay, all right. There is only one mistake you have done, otherwise, your presentation was good. I, I don't have any mistakes with that, but uh, your uh, diagram it was not vi visible from the bottom line, so you should just make it a little bit uh, smaller so we can see that. <coughs> otherwise, it was good. Thank you. The all presentation was very well prepared and very well present. But the thing is like when you are presenting uh, in some front of others, so you should wear shoes first, I think so. He was not wearing <laughs> shoes. This is a main negative point. I noticed it. This is a main negative point. Yes. Yeah. yes. <laughs> <laughs>
why then that's why he is not very English. That's also a valid point. <laughs> <laughs> you should just... Yeah, I was just noticing this thing. Right. By the way, I'll find out about this later on. Okay, right. areas for improvement. Um, actually, I think it's a common phenomenon. It's uh, not only for the team. Uh, I have seen that you guys actually listed all the research methods you about to use, but uh, and you stop there and jump to the conclusion. But actually the audience is really interested in uh, what kind of findings you have found so far, like what the content you get, and when you are applying your research methods. Yeah, it's not just for the team. Uh, I think uh, you guys have done well, demonstrate uh, yeah, with the uh, manual uh, knowledge uh, based on using different methods but uh, I think it's for a common problem and we have to use it. if we say we are using one method but it's very important that we show that after using the method what kind of direct results we get from that yeah thank you well done okay thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Right here. final uh, good points in this uh, presentation yeah uh, I really like the pragmatic view of the research projects and uh, all of you have done well and uh, all of you have uh, are actually contributing to the uh, project as I can see here uh, and also I really uh, like that you have demonstrated and used the manage, uh, apply management knowledge in your presentation which is the whole point of this course I guess <laughs> yeah very good well done to you. One more good point of in your project was that like uh, Sibin was there and uh, he was uh, trying to uh, uh, speak the next point and at the same time he uh, moved this next slide. So it was uh, quite a uh, very good job like uh, you are saying recommendation and he immediately do that. So it was pretty good. Thank, Thank you. you. Yeah. Any yeah. points left to make? No. Positive? Yes. No, no, yes. no, no. no. Yes, no. yes, no. No, yes. <laughs> right. <laughs> All right. So, um, I, I like the, uh, normally I like simple transitions between slides. Keep it simple. But in this case, you used um, a variety of transitions. I particularly thought the fabric curtains opening transition was particularly relevant to this presentation. Generally, I'd warn you against such fancy stuff and get in a pickle, but it worked very well. Uh, the confidence of the presenters was, was excellent. Um, good pace. You've all learned off each other. You've all learned, every team has learned off every other team, and you've all bubbled each other up. Said, oh, I'll have that idea. Oh, I'll have that idea. <laughs> and, and then you've all been continuously improving. That's been great, everybody. Um, perfect. Good. That's it. That's all for me.